बसमीम्सम दीज आर द्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट कैन बी आस्ट टू यू फ्राम योर लोअर लिम एस ए क्यू तो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज़ यंग बॉय हैर अगेन शॉर्ट इंजरी बिहाइंड इज नी ही वॉज रश टू ई आर विद प्रोफ्यूज ब्लीडिंग ऑन एग्जामिनेशन द डॉक्टर लोकेटेड द डैमेज वेसल्स यूजिंग योर नाटमिकल नॉलेज नेम द वेसल्स लाइकली टू गेट डैमेज नेम द एरिया एंड इज बाउंड्रीज हैविंग दीज वेसल्स इन्यूमरेट द अदर कॉन्टेंट्स so the vessels likely to get damaged will be popliteal artery and popliteal vein and the area and its boundaries will be the area will be popliteal for that is very easy and uh, easy question you can easily identify it by this line behind his knee it means popliteal fossa they are talking about the popliteal fossa so the boundaries will be superior laterally bicep femoris is present superior medially uh, semi pembrenosus and semi tendinosus is present inferior laterally lateral head of gastrocnemius and plantaris muscle is present inferior medially medial head of gastrocnemius present roof on the roof of skin superficial fascia and deep fascia will be present for floor will be for floor will be comprising of the popliteal surface of the femur capsule of the knee joint and popliteal muscle other contents of the popliteal fossa will be popliteal artery popliteal vein tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve of fibula the popliteal lymph nodes and fat a 30 year old woman was brought to the er with dislocation of the right hip joint enlarge the bones that articulate in the joint name the type of the joint enumerate the ligaments supporting the wall joint with their attachment so the bones articulating the joint will be head of femur acetabulum of the hip bone uh, that is deepened by the acetabular labrum and formed by these three bones hip ilium stem and pubis type of joint will be ball and socket joint of the synovial variety and the ligament supporting the hip joint will be iliofemoral ligament pubofemoral ligament ischiofemoral ligament and ligamentum teres transverse acetabular ligament iliofemoral ligament runs from the anterior inferior iliac spine to the intertrochanteric line of the femur pubofemoral ligament runs from the superior ramus of the femur to the inferior part of the neck of the femur ischiofemoral ligament from the body of the ischium to the greater trochanter of the femur ligamentum teres acetabular notch uh, from acetabular notch and transverse acetabular ligament to the fovea on the head of the femur transverse acetabular ligament completes the acetabular notch inferiorly question number 3 is a nurse uh, was given an instruction to administer a pain killer to a patient intermuscular injection in the gluteal region name the involved muscle along with its nerve supply in list any two actions of the involved muscle name the two most important anatomical structures that need to be protected in this region so involved muscle will be gluteus maximus nerve supply will be inferior gluteal nerve any two actions of the gluteus maximus will be extension of the hip joint lateral rotation and the most important structure that needs to be protected will be sciatic nerve so the injection should be given in the upper outer quadrant of the gluteal region this is a ma- most important question from the from the bcq point of view as, a, as well Question number four is an an eighty year old woman with a history of osteoporosis falls at home. She experiences severe pain in the left hip and is unable to stand. Her left lower limb is shortened and externally rotated. X-ray reveals a fracture dislocation involving the hip joint. Name the articular surfaces forming the hip joint. Type of the joint ligaments involved and that stabilizes the hip joint and the movements at this joint and major muscles that are involved in this movement describe the neurovascular supply of the hip joint. so the articular surfaces will be the same head of the femur acetabulum of the hip bone deepened by the acetabular labrum formed by the ilium stem and pubis type of joint will be ball and socket joint of the synovial variety ligament will be iliofemoral ligament and the strongest one is the iliofemoral ligament that prevents hyperextension pubofemoral ligament ischiofemoral ligament and ligamentum of head of femur that contains artery to the head of the femur so the movements involved will be flexion extension abduction adduction medial rotation and lateral rotation flexion by the iliosaurus and rectus femoris extension by the gluteus maximus and hamstrings abduction by the gluteus medius and minimus adduction by the adductor longus previous magnus medial rotation by gluteus medius and minimus lateral rotation by piriformis obturator internus gemelli and quadrator femoris nerve supply will be by femoral nerve obturator or superior gluteal nerve nerve to quadrator femoris blood supply will be from the medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries artery to the head of the femur super branch of the obturator artery superior and inferior gluteal artery another important thing that is that you uh, if anyone is going to describe it in the tabular tabulated form like he is going to make a table and then he is going to write down the name of the muscle in the in the other column he is going to write down the action of the that muscle and in the next column he is going to write down the nerve supply of that muscle and the articular supply so that is going to leave a good impression on the examiner or on the checker as well thank you